let's talk about models. Um, when it comes to the models on your videos, how do you pick them? How do you, how do they get placed in your videos? Is there a certain um, process for that? Are you involved with the process? Give me the rundown. Well, I'm involved with the process with the models, very much so. I pick the models, but I gotta be honest, models these days ain't shit. They not, they ain't shit. Most of the motherfuckers be strippers, and I love the strippers, I swear to God, but they're only there for the money. They're not bringing nothing to the video. And, and BT and MTV, got, I swear to God, I love them, but they don't let you show their ass on the video. So basically, if they ain't got a cute face, what the, you know, what's the, what's the, what gives? But, you know, it's very rare you find a Melissa Ford or somebody that's just an icon. You don't have those anymore. You don't have that girl in hip hop that everybody has to have in the video. If you see a girl in everybody's video, it's because she showed up to everybody's video. That's that's where we're at now. And that's that's depressing. And the girls that you wish come to the video, they look down on videos because they see the camera thug videos. They don't see the, you know, the, the, the third level I was talking about video guy, you know, work. They look at hip hop as this whole umbrella of, I'm not doing rap videos, you know, but they're in the club shaking their ass, popping bottles, turning up to the, to, to, to the trap shit. But when it comes to fucking, you know, doing a video, it, they want to, you know, they just they just don't they just don't want to do it. So we're stuck with, you know, girls that don't really know how to perform in front of the camera, which eats up more time, and you have to really turn into a photographer because you got to frame their heads, you got to tilt their head down, you got to make the eye line right. A lot of work goes into these untrained models. You know, Trick Daddy had this post that's real funny. He said he he used to love watching supermodels. But not all he see on Instagram is stripper models. And uh, I think that's what we have now, a bunch of stripper models. And I love the strippers. Yeah, we love the strippers, but y'all need to learn or uh, do some mirror tricks or something or stand in the mirror and have a, a conference, a model stripper conference or something. And, uh, you know, try to learn how to model. What are your, um, what are your do's and don'ts for a model on set? Don't ask me how long till you can go. I hate that shit. Don't do that shit. Cause to me, this is what I love to do. And this is a fucking hobby to you hobby to you, then it's gonna show. You're gonna be good for like maybe three, four takes. After that, you're not gonna be mentally in it. And that's whack. Like this is an opportunity to be seen on a on a large scale. Like you're gonna be on television. Forever. They're going to play this in the middle of the night in 2018. And you looking crazy. You know what I mean? So, um, my biggest pet peeve is people not, or women or models not really being focused or, you know, just maybe a tad bit groupish. Like, they're in love with the infatuation of just, or the thought of just being in a video. But when they realize that it's work, like, it is a job, it's a skill, it's a discipline. And everybody around is really trying to make you look good. And you have to bring it. Now, that's our job is to light it right. But you have to have a talent, too. It's not just about showing up and being pretty. You have to apply yourself. Give me something to, you know, choose from. Give me a certain, certain poses. You know, give me different looks. You know what I'm saying? Move a certain way. Uh, know how to seduce the audience. All right? Uh, these are things that I pay you for. You know, and, uh, you know, you get what you pay for sometimes. You know, sometimes you don't really have a budget to go and get, you know, models from a modeling company, which is 80% of the time. So you rely on these stripper models that, uh, you know, some of them just naturally are good. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a girl that's just really on point or she's got a little liquor in her and she's really rocking it. But, you know, for the most part, if they just really applied themselves and focused, they would be dope. Because they have to look. It's just the mental, the mental game. You know, photography is a mind game. You know what I mean? More than anything. And directing is too. You know, it's all psychological when you get to a certain level. Because everybody looks good. We can make you look good. If you ain't got no hair, if you bald headed, we can put some weave in your shit. You got fucked up skin, we can put some makeup on your on your on your face. You know, but all said and done, once you all made up, if you just sitting there looking crazy, ain't no energy, ain't no spark, well, see ya. You know, be the next girl next week, you know what I mean? And then uh, hopefully she'll have something. 
but no one's really taking modeling seriously. They take it more seriously on Instagram than, it, than they do on videos, which is crazy because 10,000 people see your Instagram page. Uh, 10 million people see MTV Jams every day. Or 4 million people might watch World Star in, uh, in a day or in a week. And uh, you're not thinking about that. You're only thinking about, oh, how long I got to be before I go to work. Well, you can flip this into something else if you really took it seriously, if you brought your A-game, you know, you had all your outfits laid out, you really had your hair laid out, and, you know, you, you ask me questions, and you, you, you're really getting into it, you know, and, and I think I missed those. I, I never had experienced those models, but I, I would say that working with people like that would be such a pleasure, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people who want to be there and, and would love to be there long past the time we rap, you know. Those are the people that are successful to me. In anything you do, you know, that you don't have to drag them, you know, to a situation. Like, you had to make a kid play basketball, like, you're going to be Michael Jordan. That kid will never be Michael Jordan, ever. But if you just got a kid that just sleeps with the basketball and goes to school with the basketball in the gym and in the gym after practice, like, that motherfucker going to win MVP. And that's that's kind of wish, what I wish the girls, or some girls would, 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 would blossom, but most of them are content with, you know, being next to the artist, getting that Instagram picture, and then their, their interest is over. So I think they lose because you can really make yourself into something big, you know, if you have more hustle, if you were more smarter. But hey, I guess that ain't the way it is. Best video model ever in the history of video models, in your opinion? I, I, I got to say Melissa Ford. I was watching Little X's videos randomly just... You know, how you, I think I was, me and my girlfriend was watching, um, I think some Usher video or something, just because she liked Usher, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. And uh, I think uh, You Got It Bad, no, 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 uh, the Yeah video came on. I was like, that's the girl in every video. I was like, wow, she looked different in every video, but as a director, now when I was a kid watching that shit, I didn't notice it, it was the same girl, nor did I care, but I just knew she was fine. But then I looked at it from a director's perspective, and I see why he used her in that. I see why he used her in um, uh, Fabulous's video. I see why he used her in Mystical's video. I see why he used it in Jada Kiss's video. Oh yeah, I watched. I just noticed that that's the girl from every video because she brought a sense of sense, a sexuality to the video that wasn't slutty. It was right at the edge of classy, and I want to rip her fucking clothes off. And just whatever, you know, she appealed to the to 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 to, to the fantasy in a classy way, but it was still she seemed attainable but unattainable, and then I think that's what a fantasy fantasy should be. And um, she made the video easy to shoot because once she made her up, I mean, she had the nice ass, she had the perfect lips and the face and all that stuff, and with the right lighting and of course the right cinematography, you know. She's gorgeous, especially on a 35 millimeter film. Uh, Melissa Ford just saved a lot of videos back in the day. And if you look at those videos, one location, most of them, most of them are psych walls. And, you know, but when you have talent that just jumps out the screen like that, it just it makes your video and your job and your day much that much more easier. And people don't realize that when you have a person that's bringing it to you, it gets me going as a director. And I'm I'm trying to compete. I'm like, okay, wow, damn! I get excited when her close-ups are like she, her eye line hits right. She she brings her chin up at the right speed, or she cracks that half smile at the right moment, and she's. I'm like, wow, she's in it. Like she's in the track. She's in this song. She's in the moment. That's the magic that I'm trying to capture, and that's what she she did a lot of times in in most of her videos. Melissa Ford. So salute to you, Mrs. Ford. I think that. You're, you know, exceptional talent. The, and, and all the women in the Big Pimpin' video. All those women were fun to look at, even though they ain't do shit. 